Spotlight Sophie by Kimberly Hickey. The forest was so spacious and refreshing. A break from the hustle and bustle of day-to-day -day life. A break from school. The air felt cool as it brushed past her. As she turned to look behind her, she saw her bundle of fur bounding up the hill. His fluffy white fur was knotted with snow. Rory, come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Her voice echoed across the landscape as her beloved pet dog ran to her side. He was panting heavily from running up the hills in the vast field behind them. Good boy, she exclaimed while starting to run to catch up with her brother, Luke. Side by side, they powered on home whilst their boots were being tugged by the deep crystal-like snow. So how is the play go- Sophie, how many times do I have to tell you to pay attention? As I've told you before, you're here to learn. Try to focus. Focus. Echoed Miss Hales' voice across the classroom. Even from the other side of the room, Sophie could see the stress getting to the teacher. As I was saying, we have two weeks until showtime. Although this is an exciting time for us as a school, we really need to allocate the roles today. Ugh, oh, the Christmas play. Sophie instantly felt her stomach knot. She hated Christmas plays. Everybody else looked so ecstatic, but not Sophie. They made her nervous. She felt like one of those people in the snow globes you get at Christmas, with everybody constantly staring at you. I can't do this, she thought to herself. Her mind started racing. Sophie, I would like you to play the role of Mary. And Liam, you can be Joseph. Does that sound okay? Of course, Liam replied excitedly. Whereas Sophie just smiled politely. As Miss Hales allocated roles to the rest of the class, an all too familiar Why? crowded her thoughts. Following the loud, echoing footsteps of Miss Hales, the class walked in unison to the hall until a large old wooden stage appeared through the doorway. The dark room flickered to life as the lights surged with power and the familiar musty smell hung in the air as they made their way to the stage. As the class was directed where to stand and given their scripts, Miss Hales came over to Sophie. I know you're nervous, but I also know that you can do this. A warm smile spread across Miss Hales' face. Hope. The auditions began, and although she could still feel each heartbeat echo through her chest, she was reminded of what Miss Hales had told her. The long days of rehearsals dragged by until... Showtime! Suddenly, the dusty speakers that lived in the hall roared to life as the head teacher strode confidently onto the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our annual Christmas show! bellowed the principal. A cheer erupted from the audience. <laughs> Sending vibrations backstage to the spot Sophie stood on. She was nervous. Her legs were like jelly. As the first song began to play, she skipped onto stage with her partner, Joseph. M Mary and Joseph made their way to Jerusalem. She trembled. Just when she thought the entire play was going to be like this, her mind flashed back to what Miss Hale said with that smile on her face. And just like her teacher, she believed she could do it. They found a, a stable, she projected to the audience this time with her head held high. Although it wasn't quite perfect, she continued, her voice filled with confidence. Another two hours flew by. Even from the back of the hall, she could see the beaming smiles from the rows and rows of parents. Now it had reached to the end of the play. How would the audience react? As they rose to their feet, Sophie realized her legs weren't like jelly anymore. Neither was her voice shaking as if everything rolled into one moment, the audience rose to their feet. I was wrong, I can do it, I did do it, she thought to herself as a smile spread, not across her teacher's face, but across her own. As she held her head high, 
Her favourite Christmas song began to play and she strolled off the stage with her cast members. I did do it! At that moment, Sophie didn't want to be anywhere else. She didn't want to daydream. She didn't even want to be in the forest again. She wanted to be living in the moment. <laughs> 